Nine years after the original Inside Out, Riley and her emotions are back on the big screen with a sequel that's now the third highest grossing animated film of all time, surpassing even the first Frozen. Pixar's new hit has raked in over 1.3 billion worldwide. With numbers like that, it's aiming for the top spot on perhaps the studio's most critical ranking. Let's face it, franchises this successful don't just stop out of nowhere. The unexpected hype surrounding Inside Out 2 has already sparked serious talks about a third installment, although Disney hasn't officially announced it yet. But given the blockbuster success, the influx of new fans worldwide, and the clear potential for a high-quality trilogy, we can expect an announcement soon. Considering Disney and Pixar's new strategy, Inside Out 3 is just a matter of time. The studio is intent on recreating a sort of renaissance focusing on sequels and spin-offs of their hits. We're already looking at Toy Story 5 and Frozen 3, so there's certainly room for more Inside Out. It's already proven its success, becoming the highest-grossing project of 2024. The audience's interest in a continuation can't be overstated. Stated. The plot of the second movie added new emotions to Riley and developed her relationships, but it mainly revolved around hockey. This leaves plenty of room for a third installment. We might see a time jump with an adult Riley maybe getting married or planning her future, making it a more personal project, or the producers could expand the franchise with spin-offs about entirely new characters, a trick Disney could pull off endlessly until the audience gets tired. One thing is certain, Riley's story is far from over and viewers will eagerly welcome a continuation. We already see the franchise expanding. For instance, the second part introduced new emotions, but there were still many ideas that didn't make it into the film. This is the main reason why director Kelsey Mann hopes for Inside Out 3. Before the sequel premiered, he revealed in an interview with Comic Book that the team has concepts for a potential third movie. Mann expressed his love for the Inside Out universe, calling it a fantastic world for bringing numerous ideas to life. He noted that these ideas come from immersing oneself in this world, both in terms of locations and characters. According to him, there were many intriguing elements not only from the first film, but also the sequel. Mann spent a lot of time during the production of Inside Out 2 thinking about big ideas that accumulated, although he wasn't sure how they would fit into the film. However, he hasn't abandoned these ideas. Instead, he seems to be saving them for the future. Mann shared details about one particular idea that was ultimately cut from the sequel. It involved a place called Procrastination Land, a park that was always under some form of construction and never fully ready to open. Mann mentioned that this was one of his favorite concepts. He recalled it as a big park with a sign that read, Coming Soon. He found the idea amusing, but it was excluded from the movie. Nevertheless, he expressed hope that it could be used in a third film. According to the director, such locations could spin off an entire storyline, making everything even more interesting. It's worth noting that besides locations like Procrastination Land, whole emotions were cut from the second movie. For instance, shame was intended to be the fifth new emotion instead of nostalgia serving as the antagonist. However, she was ultimately removed for making the movie feel too heavy and difficult to watch. But if the third movie features a more grown-up Riley dealing with more complex issues, why not introduce shame then? Or guilt, another emotion considered for the sequel, designed to wear a large backpack representing his emotional baggage. Like shame, guilt was seen as a crucial aspect of Riley's emotional development during her teenage years. However, the authors decided that adding guilt, along with several other emotions, would over overly complicate the story. There's also Hope, initially one of the six main emotions in early drafts. Her personality was ultimately merged with Joy's, and Hope was cut to streamline the cast and maintain clarity. Suspicion was also considered during development, envisioned as a hard-boiled detective in a trench coat. He would likely take on the role of disgust in the movie, overanalyzing the frown of Riley's friend in the car as they head to hockey camp. As you can see, the creators have a treasure trove of characters they can rework and include in the third movie, and Kelsey Mann is already hinting at this possibility. Creative director of Pixar, Pete Docter, believes in focusing on solo movies without hinting at sequels. However, he was so thrilled by the success of Inside Out 2 that he couldn't contain his excitement and revealed that the studio is ready for the franchise's big ideas. This could manifest in a full-length third part or a spin-off series set to debut on Disney Plus next year. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Pete Docter mentioned that the studio has already finished working on the series series, which is slated for a spring release. The show will center around the emotion factory from the first Inside Out, where dreams are created, promising a fresh and intriguing experience. This spin-off will delve into the nature of dreams and their impact on real life, significantly expanding the franchise's universe. While the series has a set release window, the premiere date for Inside Out
Out 3 remains uncertain. As of now, the third movie hasn't been officially announced or greenlit for production. Given Pixar's typical pace with sequels, fans might have to wait a few years. For example, Toy Story 5 is set to release in 2026, seven years after the fourth movie. Following this pattern, Inside Out 3 might not hit theaters before 2028. However, if the project is quickly approved and production begins soon, a 2026 release could be possible. Overall, Pixar has a clear strategy to bring audiences back to theaters, and it seems to be working. The Inside Out franchise is in a prime position, and a third installment is only a matter of time and the team's readiness to return to work. Stay tuned.